Hi, my name is George Ann Eubanks. I'm the writer of the Literary Trails of North Carolina guidebook series. One of the most famous folk operas in America is Porgy and Bess. Of course, the music was written by George Gershwin, but it was based on a novel by a man named DuBose Hayward. He lived in South Carolina most of the time, which is how he became familiar with the Gullah culture that the novel is based on, and of course, the folk opera. But he also spent summers in Hendersonville, in Henderson County. It was there that he brought George Gershwin and then took him down to Charleston to learn about this atmosphere that, that would become the folk opera. But the interesting thing is that there, about the same time, there was a young woman over in Tryon, which is not far away from Hendersonville. She was just learning the piano. In fact, she was a prodigy. She was so talented that her neighbors in Tryon started pitching in money so that she could take piano lessons. She ended up studying piano in Asheville and then went on to Juilliard where she was given a scholarship. Unfortunately, the scholarship money ran out and Eunice Wayman had to start singing in bars. She had a great voice too. She changed her name to Nina Simone because she didn't want her mother to find out she was singing in places where liquor was served. Her mother was a preacher back in Tryon. So what's the connection to DuBose Hayward and Porgy and Bess? Well, it turns out that Eunice Wayman, or Nina Simone, had her first big hit singing I Loves You Porgy, the George Gershwin tune based on the novel by DuBose Hayward. Mm -hmm.